Over the past century in the military aviation industry, some fighters have been nicknamed Flying Coffins. Although there were many legendary fighters, the U.S. Air Force also possessed many fighters that posed more danger to the pilot than the enemy. Topping the list of Flying Coffins is the F-2A Buffalo Fighter. When it was first born, this was an Omidor structural aircraft. Certainly, the very modern qualities of that period. The F-2A Buffalo was designed as an aircraft carrier-based fighter but it was severely damaged by the Japanese Navy and Air Force in the early days of the World War II. The reason was that the F-2A Buffalo had poor maneuverability, limited firepower, relatively slow speed, and poor ability to operate at high altitudes. So the F-2A Buffalo fighter was simply not the opponent of the Japan's best pilots. After the first few months of the war, the surviving buffaloes were sent off as trainers. Second on the list is the US Navy's first jet fighter, the F-7 Cutlass. This was an attempt by the U.S. Navy to develop an aircraft carrier-based jet fighter, but it was a complete failure. The development of aircraft carrier-based fighters is complex and difficult. The F-7 Jew was a jet fighter, but it had limited engine power. It was designed with two vertical tail fins without horizontal planes. The fighter was very difficult to control. On the other hand, the XX class carriers were not designed for jets at the time. Considered a revolution compared to the traditional aircraft design, the F 7U encountered many technical problems during its short service time. Four test pilots and 21 other U.S. Navy pilots were killed while flying the F-7U. More than a quarter of the total F-7U build was destroyed by accident. Third on the list, is also a model of aircraft carrier-based fighter. In the early days of the jet, it was the F-3H Demon, developed by McDonnell. This was a square-wing, single-engine, and subsonic speed fighter. An aircraft carrier-based fighter should have a powerful and reliable engine but the F-3H Demon's engine did not. Both Westinghouse J-40 and later Allison J-71 engines equipped on the F-3H were ineffective. In addition to the unreliable engine, a deadly weakness of the F-3H Demon was the ejection seat. It was often inactive when there was an emergency situation. The F-3H only performs complementary missions, supporting daytime airplanes such as the F-HU Crusader and the F-11F Tiger. It was decommissioned in 1964. Another model of the U.S. Air Force flying coffin is the F-102 Dart Dagger supersonic interceptor aircraft. 
due to threats from the Soviet long-range bomber force. The United States developed a number of high-speed jet interceptors during the 1950s. The original F-102 Dart Dagger was unable to achieve supersonic speed, so a redesign was required. The F-102 also had difficulty operating at high altitudes, a weakness unacceptable to an interceptor aircraft. Another effort, called F-106 Dart Dart, was capable of much better performance. In Vietnam, the Air Force attempted to put the F-102 into a low-level bombing role, but with limited success. Much of it later converted to target drones. At the bottom of this list is the F-104 Starfighter, developed by Lockheed. The F-104 was an interceptor aircraft, serving in a number of different air forces since 1958. In Vietnam, the F-104 was unsuccessful as a ground attack. The F-104 had an extremely high crash rate higher than any interceptor aircraft in the 20th century. The problem was much worse for the Canadian and German Air Force. Crashes had many causes, but in general, single-engine fighters with a small wing area would be susceptible to malfunction. Some critics have suggested adding the F-35 to this list, but the F-35 is still under development, and there have been several accidents with it. However, time will prove the safety of the F-35, and if it does, it will be classified as the flying coffin of the 21st century. My video about the five legendary flying coffins of the US Air Force ends here. Thank you for watching. If you find this video interesting, please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos.